What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to reset the ECU, the TCM and all control modules in your car or truck. But before I start the video, I wanna mention that some vehicles that, the, that has more complicated systems and you're not supposed to disconnect the power from the battery off of these systems. They're, they're made, designed to, work, to have constantly uh, power from the battery even when they replace the battery, they connect the new one in parallel before disconnecting the old one. So uh, research if you can disconnect the battery and there should be no problem for domestic vehicles, some imported, imported vehicles like Honda, Toyota, and um, other simpler vehicles in, 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 uh, for lack of better word. And as you can see now, I have the anti-theft light is on. Uh, they call it the pass lock and the airbag light is on but just one thing I want to mention quickly before we start that some of these systems are proactive so if you have a current problem and um, the system is actively scanning itself and the problem is not solved the light will stay on okay now all what you need is a jumper cable and you need to take both your battery terminals off so in my case I'm gonna remove both the negative and the positive but the negative first and then the okay, positive. now I removed the ground first and then the positive is free now I have to isolate the battery so I'm gonna grab just a regular piece of cardboard and I'm gonna completely isolate the both terminals. okay so now after isolating the battery, I'm gonna grab my jumper cable and I will connect both terminals together. Positive to, get to the negative, just like so, isolated from the battery. Now what this does, it drains any residual charge from the positive circuits down to the drain when it's disconnected from the battery so it completely drains all the systems in the vehicle which makes them clear any faults and reset themselves and then start from scratch all over again okay now leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes doesn't really matter so all the the, the charge will just drain completely okay so it has been around 15 minutes for me so i'm just gonna put everything back together and reconnect the battery positive first and negative next okay now everything that's put back together now we want the vehicle to learn the new values properly so there's a few things i want to show you that you can do to help the vehicle that is using the control modules to learn everything from scratch now properly so it can be saved and then uh the car actually drives better okay now first thing you want to do is you want to grab your key and you want to cycle the key with five seconds in between every time so Turn the key on, give it about five seconds. Turn back off, cycle it again. And on the third time, you can crank the car and start it up. And as you can see here in my case, my uh, pass lock, the anti-theft light, has reset itself and now it's good to go. Okay, now you want to let the vehicle warm up completely and idle for about five minutes on its own so the idle can find its sweet spot and it can relearn the idling values for the RPMs. So you want to turn everything off, so here I'm going to turn the screen on. now you want to just let it idle let it warm up a little bit idle for a good five minutes until it finds its sweet spot okay now it's been uh, around five minutes and the idle has went down and settled we can run it through the gears again with five seconds in between each gear so I'm gonna go reverse give it around five seconds to learn the engagement neutral Drive. Third. Second. And first. I'm going to go the opposite way, the same thing. You get the idea. Okay, now 
that you have done this process uh, you want to drive the vehicle slowly or not slowly like the way you like it to drive because it's gonna learn um, the the shifting the RPMs for the shifting the way you drive some vehicles have shifting adaptation some vehicles do not so you want to drive it just the way you like it so you can actually have the vehicle adapt to the way you drive um, after that I mean you can just drive normally and this should be uh, good to go okay now with that being said i appreciate you watching i hope this is helpful to you uh, again this is going to clear some faults that are not present anymore if there's an active problem like my airbag here you can see there is still a problem with my airbag and it's going to remain the light's going to remain on until i actually fix that problem but again this is only just to kind of clear the values clear the faults and start over uh, in all the control modules in your vehicle so with that being said i hope this is helpful to you if it is please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe down there and i'll catch you in the next one peace